Hey, it's Coach 2K with Coach2K.com, and I'm working on George Hill here as my first project. And I always start on the offensive side of the ball, and I usually focus on the standing jump shots first. So you can see the standing three points, standing medium, standing close. Like his his uh, rating for standing medium is 90. So uh, those are all good ratings. So you can see here in freestyle practice mode, you have these things called hot zones, and these are the rings uh, that represent the different areas. So like. In here, this is standing close, he'd be 85 there. Standing medium, he'd be 90 here. And then standing three point, he'd be 80 uh, in that spot. So you'll see here there's some colors. So like this is red, that, uh, we call that a hot spot. And then this is neutral, and then this is blue, we call this kind of a cold spot. Now I usually just say, okay, red, I just give that a plus five. So if he's rated 80 out there, I count him 85. And then over here, then I would say that's a true rating of 80, standing three point. And over in the blue area, then I would just say that's 75. Now it probably doesn't work that way, that's just the way I like to do it. Now when I'll be working with George Hill, my goal will be getting lots of shots here in the standing medium because he's 90 rated there. And uh, then I would probably spend some time practicing there and in those red spots. And the reason I would practice a lot in the red spots is just to kind of help me by repetition remember that that's where his spots are without having to remember it, um, you know. So basically, I just try and do it by repetition to remember it. Now, between those two spots, between the red and the blue, in crunch time, you know, you're only going to go from for the red spot as opposed to the blue. But all over the court is a good place to shoot for George Hill because they're all great ratings. And so if he's open, he's going to have the green light. But over time, as we learn more about how George Hill plays in the game, we're going to learn if he doesn't succeed at a spot often enough to just kind of not pull the trigger in those spots and where he can really shoot from, we'll make sure we get him in those spots. So I hope that helps. And this is Coach 2K, and I will see you on the court and in the next video.